Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, so let's find out together who's coming towards you. Six of Pentacles, Five of Cups, clarified by the Six of Swords and the Five of Swords. Guys, I am a little bit doubtful that this person can make a good impression with you when your interaction begins, because they can be quite a character, they can think to be the smartest of the tribe, but their history in the romantic arena is not exactly positive. So somehow, some way, this person can have a reputation. It's like they have a tendency to jump into romantic connections extremely fast, like there is no tomorrow. So the foundations are not properly set. Every connection lacks something and the outcome is basically always the same and not a positive one. So this person can be an unbalanced individual because of the Six of Pentacles, one man up, one man down dynamic. If we follow the Five of Swords, this person can be someone that is involved in connections that are characterized by drama, arguments, discussions, you know, a lot of nonsense. And that's why the situation never pans out, the Five of Cups. The Six of Swords is about an individual that is sailing the sea alone by themselves. And they are trying to find the opportunity for them because the warrior, the single warrior, is sailing towards the sun. Guys, I am not sure that the opportunity to begin a romantic connection with this person can be a sun opportunity for you as well. So they may like you 100%, but you know, there can be a lot of questions and doubts. So let me see the Five of Swords because it is an ego-driven energy for me. And this person somehow, some way can have a mindset about the fact that it's never their fault if something goes wrong, you know? But this person has been with a meaningful amount of partners in the romantic arena. And so it would be naive to think that they never had any responsibility with the negative outcome of a romantic connection, you know? So let's see. The Five of Swords, Two of Swords, which is a crossroads, Knight of Cups, Love Offer, they can make it to you, Two of Pentacles, kind of juggling. They are juggling their ways, guys. They do not want to let go of anything that pertains to their mindset, you know, their beliefs. We got the Oracle card. Then we got the magic oracle card. This person can say to you that the connection feels like it's a magical opportunity, you know? Beautiful words, beautiful. Mm, I am amazed. But what this person is trying to achieve can be something that basically follows the Ace of Wands, King of Wands combination of energies that we got. Some of you can get the realization that this person is extremely interested in you guys, especially on an intimate level. Conception is an interesting oracle card because it can be an idea, you know, it's like the opportunity to give birth to an idea, but then we have to be careful also if we think about the Ace of Wands, which is an extremely phallic energy. And I think that you get the point. Guys, heartbroken oracle card. This person can be like a broken heart, a walking broken heart, I would be extra careful if I were you, as the saying goes. And not today can be the type of feedback that some of you may have to offer to this person. Not dealing boundaries. Because the offer that they can make you can be a sexual one. So, energies of the connection, how does it feel? Ace of Wands, King of Wands, clarified by the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords. They want to go fast, guys, the Knight of Swords. I wouldn't say that this person can have any reason to argue or fight with you, uh, considering how the Knight of Swords for me can be about harsh words. 
This can be a middle-aged person. I would say that this set of energies can speak to those of you that can be in your 30s, 40s. Because of the old warrior in the Nine of Wands, is trying to make peace with his past. This can speak about this person. Maybe it can speak about some of you. If this individual reminds you of someone from your past, so someone that can be extremely attractive, but also someone that can lack consistency if we think about a romantic connection. The King of Wands is ready, guys, and the King of Wands plus the Ace is a powerful combination if we think about the opportunity to ignite a bonfire of passion that can take off immediately following the Knight of Swords, so things can unfold fast if you allow this person to make their moves with you. I want to see the Nine of Wands, guys. I want to see it. Because it can be an energy about wisdom of experience, and some of you may need it. Let's see. Queen of Cups, the current energy. We got it in the advice position for you. You have to read the intentions of this person. You have to figure out what can be the future of this connection. Because the attraction can be real. All right. What's the vision? What's the long-term project? Strength card. Matter of trust. Matter of patience. The opportunity to hold back. And some of you may have to resist avances, guys. 100%. Six of swords. The current energy. Crickets. Not today. I have to say, guys, that this set of energies can speak to those of you that may have the opportunity to interact with a kind of new person that can make you extremely straightforward advances. You can consider them almost disrespectful and you can be turned off immediately. Because it seems that this person can think that they can have it easy, you know, because they are so amazing, you know, they are amazing. Wow, amazing individual. And maybe they think that you can fall at their feet just like that. I wouldn't be so sure because of the strength card. And you can be driven by your heart, especially if you have been single for a while and you have done the work on yourself and you know what you want. So speaking about that, what's the advice for you from the Tarot? Queen of Cups, Eight of Wands clarified by the King of Cups and the Four of Wands. So, if you are aiming high in order to manifest the Four of Wands energy, thanks to the flow of communication that you can share with this person, Eight of Wands, you will have the opportunity to evaluate if this individual can be a fair companion, a fair match for you, if we follow the Queen of Cups, King of Cups couple on the table. So, this is a matter of intentions. This is a matter of realizing if love can become the main character on the stage, you know? And it seems to be an iffy opportunity, guys. This can be a fiery type of interaction. There can be attraction. This person can make it clear to you. And the Knight of Cups that we got, the Knight of Cups that we got can be basically stuck in the loop of the Two of Pentacles because this person may not be available to open up completely following the posture of the Lady in the Two of Swords. They can have unresolved issues, moon in the background in the Two of Swords. They want something lighter, let's say, something less serious than a romantic partnership built in the proper way. So even what they can consider as a love offer to your eyes can be something completely different, you know? It can be the opportunity to have good time together. So, guys, let me see the Eight of Wands, because it can be an energy about Cupid's arrows, arrows of love. And you may have to be careful, again, following the Conception Oracle card. So let's see the Eight. Here we go, let's see. The Hermit, extremely important, guys. Energy about singlehood for me. Looking for a star partnership. There is the star within the lantern of the Hermit. You are wise, experienced, 
mature enough to realize what is the game that this person is trying to play, you know? What is the angle that uh, they can try to work on you? Five of Pentacles, the connection may not be enough. According to your expectations, I mean, there is no space for a Five of Pentacles energy in a Four of Wands vision, you know? That's why when a Four of Wands connection struggles, it can be due to the fact that the two partners cannot communicate in a productive way anymore. And so the communication flow at some point can feel small for some of you, like this person doesn't truly have much to offer when it comes to the opportunity to grow together. And of course, they do not want to talk with you. They would love to do something else. The talking part is just a catalyst to ignite the flow of the events, you know? Let's talk about the strategy uh, coming from this person. Look, look at the strategy. Look at the strategy. <laughs> the Ace of Wands strategy. I mean, what can I say to you? This is the opportunity to have sex. It is what it is, guys. It's pointless to make circles about the situation. Uh, it is what it is. So no wonder that this person can feel the connection as a magical opportunity and they can like you a lot. And maybe they have good reasons to like you, but for you, it can be a whole different ball game because this person can be a seducer and you may have to basically put in check the overall connection because it can be a tempting opportunity when it comes to the Ace of Wands. So the chance to sleep together, but then there is not so much more available considering the Five of Pentacles and chances are this person may even decide to ghost some of you as soon as they got what they wanted in the first place. So not dealing, boundaries, they are two meaningful keywords and then the heartbroken oracle card can even become a potential outcome if you allow this person to gain, earn access, let's say, in your life. And they are going to push for that. But some of you can be courageous enough to make a decent stand, you know? It's a matter of self-respect, guys. And also a matter of knowing what we want and basically the chance to do our best in order to move closer and closer to the goal that can truly fulfill our heart. This connection can fulfill maybe the physical pleasures of an individual, but it can fade away like a fleeting spark. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.